been a member of Dorchester Fishing Club for a couple of years now. It was a, it was a 10 year wait on their list, waiting list. Uh, I think I paid a, a small fee to go on that list, like 10 or something. Um, was it worth the wait? Yeah, damn right it was. It's um, got some fantastic waters. If you really want to treat yourself, the river keeper, John Atblin, has a holiday annex just downstream from where I'm fishing today on, at the old dairy and if you book yourself in there you can have the old dairy beat and the river keeper to put you on to fish um, so you can't really get better than that can you the thing that uh, I struggle with with fly fishing is the perception that people have about it um, commonly people think that it's all a bit hoity-toity it's not um, there are admittedly some really sad gits that fly fish that think they're better than everybody else and they do fly fishing no favours. But that's what bugs me, you know, it's uh, just another discipline of angling. God, I sound like a snob already. <laughs> no, honestly, you can just bosh a line on, give it a chuck. It's great fun. And it's uh, now coming up to the end of the uh, fortnight of uh, the, the main mayfly hatch, which unfairly gets called Duffer's Fortnight because all the old duffers can go out and catch fish without really even trying, that's the, that's the claim. But it never works out like that because the fish get well fed very quickly, they get quite fat and lazy uh, and the fishing pressure goes up so the fish become more cagey. So we now arrived at the lower, lower beat at uh, Brockhampton, Brockhampton and there's my array of uh, trusty rusty spinners be a winner with a spinner. I'm going to stick with that approach, come what may, and see if I can get something to rise. And for me, that's the fun in fishing, is seeing if you can fool the fish. Not going, not going home and saying you managed to catch 20 or 30 fish. Well, I don't want to make my excuses too early, but I think it's going to be one of those days. It's a huge hatch of gnats, which I'm not going to pick up on the camera. Let's hope the fish aren't feeding on them. I've not seen any fly life coming off the water, really, in any big way. So, um, yeah, I've not seen a fish top yet, but it's early days. Just seen a fish top on the inside bank down there. Whether it saw me, I don't know. But, um, I have no idea what it came up to feed on. I'll put a line to it anyway, I think. Well, at least I'll try. <laughs> no easy task when you've got howling wind and a leader that's not tapered. In fact, I can just see a fish and that fly travels straight over his head and didn't even look. Ooh, <laughs> not interested. Deary me. That's right above his head. Again, he didn't come up for it. Doesn't bode well. It's a fair old size as well. It's a wild fish of about three ounces. <laughs> but they all count. No, he didn't move for that one either. I know he's feeding. I know he's feeding, so I saw him come up and he's just not interested. He might be here for a while. Well, if there's any consolation, that's a real mayfly spinner that's just gone straight over his head. Interesting bugs. Well, 
lovely jade colour. This video I mentioned how important uh, woody debris is to fish habitat and I've just stopped here to um, show you this. You might hopefully be able to see the wooden, probably an old tree beam lying across the river that's being covered up. By raising the, the bed slightly um, it's created a little bit more scour, moving all the silt. Um, something that a lot of these chalk streams aren't getting enough of because of all the agricultural runoff and low flows due to abstraction, to the two together damaging, to say the least, on uh, fish populations. I've seen one other fish after attempting to catch that one right at the beginning. It's only a little one that I spooked on the inside bank. I just spooked another one. Again, inside bank on really shallow water. It's just gone into this pool here. Not the first person to have hit that, look. <laughs> oh, and now I've gone from, <sighs> from bad to worse. <sighs> Maybe I'll just move on. <laughs> Deary me. Well, I said it was going to be one of those days. Goodness knows how long I've been fishing with that for. I thought I pulled it free from that tree earlier. And uh, <laughs> the hook had snapped. Didn't get any rises though, so. I'm just going to sit down and eat my lunch and hope things improve. Seen a fish top, that wind is howling, and I've got a tape leader. I don't think I've got any chance at all of getting flying close to it, but I want to give it a go anyway. That's where it tops, just down there. Let's see if I can get it to rise. Um, preferably without casting my rod in the water. It is going to be one of those days. Trying to dry out my dry out my fly by whipping it around. I've just cast my rod into the water. It's clever, wasn't it? Right on top of the fish as well. on the other bank in that shallow water. As you can probably see there's still some mayfly coming off. Ones and twos. Maybe, maybe they're waking up. Oh no. Oh no. Fly sinking. and Frisca sylvatica. Well, that's where it topped. I don't want to fly something in from the drag. Come on, fish, perform. Do you know what? 
he's actually warming up a little bit. Oh, a few more mayflies. That's okay. Feeling slightly more optimistic because there are signs of life, it's warming up, the wind's backed off a little bit. Birds seem a little bit more chirpy. This fly's not doing the business though. If you've not seen these before, it's well worth getting one. It's a piece of mushroom, amadou mushroom, and it just dries the fly out nicely. And squeeze it out first because it's such a big fly. And use that mushroom to dry it right off. It's basically a bracket fungus. Quite expensive. That could squeeze. And now when I air dry that next, I can then dress it again with a bit of uh, gink. And that's not a stocky. That does not look like a stocked fish. Eee. Come on. Where is he? the net yes get in I'm well pleased with that it's a really nice fish shaking the hook that's good it's the lovely thing about these barbless hooks is that uh, they just fall out blimey It's been a really, really difficult day's fishing. Thoroughly enjoyable, but very difficult. Um, I'm not going to go home. I've had a refreshment and I'm going to carry on fishing on a different beat. So, um, fingers crossed.